look out the window and we can see the faintest sliver of northern lights. Really cool. I'm going to try and film it on this camera right now. I don't know about you, but when I go on holiday, I always end up having like my place, comfort zone if you like, that I find away from home. I think for me, my my place on this trip has been that bagel shop here in bed -Stuy, Brooklyn. Awesome. Anyway, no more eating bagels because we need to go back to the room and pack because today is a travel vlog. We are traveling back home today to Scotland. Close your bed now. It's quite a lot of stuff for two people for a week. Anyway, it's another really, really hot morning here. I'm sweating already. Never ever thought I'd say this, but I'm actually looking forward to getting back to Scotland. To the cool, cool air. The cool Scottish autumn, because this heat in New York has killed me this week. And it's killing me right now with my big tartan shirt on, but I need this for the plane, so. Anyway, we'll be in the air conditioning in any minute now, as soon as we get an Uber. Two passports. Do we have a house keys for Edinburgh? Yes, isn't that big? Alright, so we are on the plane. Something absolutely bizarre happened. We were walking along and I noticed a group of guys coming along who were all wearing a football club jacket. And it was the New York City football team. The first one that I saw was Andre Pirlo. And I kind of messed up. I was like, you know in the moments when you just can even recognize someone so recognizable, you don't know what to do and you make a mistake. Well, Pirlo walked past me and the only thing that could I could think to do was to shout his name. I went, oh my God, that's Pirlo, as he walked past me. And he walked past laughing, what an idiot. And then he went to take a seat and I took a video. Yeah, I'm that guy. Anyway, that was my airport drama. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard our flight to Toronto. We are on the plane. From here in New York, we are stopping in Toronto, Canada, very briefly for an hour and a half. And then we're flying overnight to Edinburgh. And one last thing as well, um, just before we take off. I took some advice of some of the, the viewers of the vlog who've all been telling me to buy the book Outlander. So here it is, I bought it for the flight home. I'm going to try reading that now on these two flights I've got back to Edinburgh. Looking forward to getting into that. And I've also had some requests for people asking me to read out chapters. But anyway, it's been a long time coming but I'm starting back in series one, book one, novel one of Outlander with the books. I'm going to be able to do some videos reviewing, comparing rather, the books with the TV series I've been watching. So yeah, I'm going to get stuck in while we get this flight. I'm just about to take off right now. So catch you on the flip side. I guess. We will be here for approximately two hours and then flying home to Edinburgh. Weirdly, it's hotter here today than it is in New York, 
New York was 30 degrees Celsius when we left. Here it's 31 degrees, that is bizarre for September. You know, it's a real shame that we're not actually getting into Toronto. Uh, we did plan originally to come here on the way home and stay for like two days in Toronto just to get to see the city, but... Um, it didn't work out for a number of reasons. Never ever seen Canada properly, this is my first time passing through its borders. I really, really want to come into Canada one day. Start off in Toronto, I guess. Guys, listen, we are over Greenland, I believe, at the moment. About three hours into our flight from Canada to Scotland. And I just looked out the window and I can see the Northern Lights. I can't believe it. I'm really happy. I am going to set the camera up if I can. It's going to be a challenge. Filming the Northern Lights from a plane is difficult. As long as I can keep the camera stable and if I can keep the, the light from inside the cabin away from the window, then I should have a good chance of actually filming them. But, um, but it's going to take some kind of cunning plan camera needs to stay absolutely stable when I do this like it cannot move because we're going to be doing a time lapse with long exposures so you can wedge the camera up stable against the window or something let's do it okay so it's the middle of the night and this is what my northern lights hunting station currently looks like I've got my towel that the airline provided me around the window so that none of the light from inside the plane get a, can get out and I've got the blind shade there pulled all the way down to the camera which is now sitting on top of the lens and my camera is doing a time lapse right there it's sitting quite tight and comfy against the window importantly none of the light from inside the plane is getting out of the window where the camera is shooting so camera up there and then the airline blanket is going to go around it to block out the light All right, guys, I am back home from New York. New York was amazing. I absolutely loved it. It was incredible. One of the greatest travel experiences I've had in a very, very long time. Great place. Thank you very much for watching all those vlogs. I really, really appreciate it and I appreciate a lot all your advice and tips and comments but it is good to be back home um, I love Scotland I love Edinburgh my city and it's just good to be here so I've got a lot of content coming up over the next few weeks but before I sign this vlog off from all those travels I want to talk about Outlander the book right because as I said on the plane I bought Outlander and I've started to read it I will do kind of comparisons and reviews and comparing it against the TV series and all that eventually. But for now, I just wanted to um, talk about one thing because a lot of people have asked me to read out chapters of Outlander for them in a Scottish accent. I don't know why that is quite popular on the internet. On thinking about it, I can't actually do it because that would violate very heavily copyright infringement. Uh, I don't want to go down that road. So that is out of the question, unfortunately. I can, however, read out little bits from the book if it is to compare and contrast and to review, that would be covered under fair use, but reading out whole chapters verbatim, unfortunately, I can't do that. But what I will do now, I'm gonna read out a couple of lines that I think were very powerful and that they, most of them appeared both in the books and in the TV series, and these are very popular among Outlander readers as well, I know, so um, I will do that for you, right? Right now, a couple of popular lines from Outlander, right? Life among academics have taught me that a well-expressed opinion is usually better than a badly expressed fact. So far as professional advancement goes, a very powerful piece of writing that from Diana Gabaldon. And I think what's great about it is that a lot of us kind of relate to it. Presentation, execution is everything. Heck, just look at politics, right? Another very powerful sentence in Outlander. This one, just a sentence, and it's very, very memorable. Jamie speaking to Claire. You are blood of my blood and bone of my bone. I give you my body that we two might be one. I give you my spirit till our life shall be done. Another very famous quote from Outlander that a lot of people love 
uh, and it does have a lot of impact. And this one's getting on towards the end of the first book. He told me that a man must be responsible for any seed he sows, for it's his duty to take care of a woman and protect her. And if I wasn't prepared to do that, then I had no right to burden a woman with the consequences of my own actions. There you go. A couple of lines from Outlander. As someone who's a writer, you know, I used to be a journalist. I appreciate good writing. I might not write books, but um, wow, Diana Gabaldon, she is a literary genius, I guess, with what she's done with Outlander. I think it's great. So anyway, I'm going to end the vlog here. I will tell you one piece of news, which you'll be finding out more about here on this channel over the next couple of days. I am launching a podcast. It is a part of my content that I've never really been into before, but I really want to uh, start producing. Uh, I think it's going to be an important aspect going forward. So podcast from now on, it's going to launch very soon. Keep your eyes open for that uh, here on YouTube. You will find out more. Anyway, thanks for following the vlogs. As I say, I hope you have a great night and I will speak to you very, very soon. Take care.